wonderful people of god today um we'll be looking at the book of genesis genesis chapter 7 4 to 10 and it's talking about the revelation of 40 days and 40 nights being exemplified by noah even as our lord savior jesus did and moses so today we are talking about noah 40 days and 40 nights i will read for yet seven days i will cause it to rain upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights and every living substance that i have made will i destroy from off the face of the earth for yet seven days for yet seven days i will cause it to rain seven is a mystery of rest the bible said and after the creation god rested on the seventh day so seven is the mystery of rest so this the scripture is saying for yet seven days that means after the creation of the new earth the new earth the new earth for yet and for yet seven days i will cause it to rain upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights and every living substance that i have made will i destroy off the face of the earth that was the destruction of the first man that was the destruction of the first man that was the end of flesh he came to end flesh christ came to end flesh. god himself came to put an end to flesh he came to put an end to flesh for man to come out of carnality and start living in the spirit so that was the end of flesh and noah did according to all that the lord commanded him and noah was 600 years old when the flood of water was upon the earth and noah went in and his sons his wife his son's wives with him into the ark ark is the mystery of christ ark he was building an ark he was building an ark and all who came into the ark of noah were saved that ark represented christ noah was the one who received he said and noah found grace in the sight of god grace means christ so noah received christ and he began to reveal christ to men he began to reveal christ to people that will hear people that will hear his revelation the revelation about christ which he has gotten he began to reveal to people that so that they can be saved this is the only solution that will bring salvation that will bring men to be saved this is the only way every man on earth will be saved and jesus said i am the way the truth and the life that is the only way to salvation that is the only way of being saved so noah introduced the revelation of christ to men and all that believed were saved in the ark let's go ahead and Noah went in and his sons, his wife and his son's wives with him into the ark because of the water of the flood, of clean beasts and of bees that are not clean, and of fowls and everything that creeped upon the earth. They went in, in two and two unto Noah into the ark. They were male and the, and the female as God has commanded Noah. And it came to pass after seven days and that the water of the flood were upon the earth after seven days after seven days so the seven is the rest of a man like i said is god bringing man to a place of rest god taking away sin out of the earth god destroying flesh what is sin sin is lost what is lost what is the cause of lost loss is demonstrated on flesh so now god bringing an end to flesh and revealing christ the life of the spirit to man the life of his son to man is the word of god and, and god gave his only begotten so he gave christ to humanity he gave christ to humanity. That whoever that believes now noah have already believed whoever that believes in him shall not perish but have an everlasting life so that was what noah's eye was open to that was the mystery of the 40 days and 40 night that was in a place where noah encountered the revelation of christ he the the, the revelation of christ was being revealed revealed to Noah. So Noah now it started preaching the gospel, the true gospel of people who believe. And he said, whoever that believes, 
Whoever that believes will not perish but have an everlasting life. Whoever that believes in that name Christ, whoever that believes in the revelation of Christ is saved. Whoever that believes in the revelation of his son Jesus Christ is saved. So that was what Noah we are preaching. That was what Noah was preaching. That was the mystery of the ark in which we had in the scripture that Noah was building. It was not that he was building an ark, like a literal ark, like it was preached. It is the ark which represented Christ, the revelation of Christ upon the earth, Noah began to reveal it to men that whoever that believe in the Christ that Noah has gotten, the revelation that Noah has gotten about Christ, the people has been preaching over the years about Christ. Noah now got a revelation, a deep revelation about Christ, who Christ is, that Christ is resident inside of the soul of a man. Now, we began to preach that revelation, people, and the people that believed it, just like I am preaching Christ to you now, I am preaching, I am preaching that Christ I'm, te I'm telling you to come into that ark, which is Christ. I'm telling you to come and have peace in that ark, that you will be saved. That at the end of life, you will resurrect. That your soul will be saved. That you will make eternal life. That is what I'm preaching. That was what Noah exemplified. For 40 days was the transition of a man. A man's soul into a place of rest. Rest means Christ. Rest means peace. Rest means Christ. Bring a man into a place of being justified. Bring a man into a new era of God. Bring a man into a new place of God. Into a new dispensation. And Paul said, in session in which I am called. So in this new dispensation, in which the revelation of Christ has come to redeem men out of captivity, out of bondage, out of the hands of the evil ones, the revelation of Christ has come to redeem the earth, to redeem redeem man and bringing the thought the imagination of flesh to a place of end bringing whatever that concerns flesh to end that is in a dispensation we are now we are no more in the dispensation of looking for god in the mountain we are no more in the dispensation of looking for god where there is no god we are now in the dispensation of communion with the holy spirit communion with the holy ghost having a personal relationship with god interacting with the holy spirit interwoven be the spirit being in Interwoven with Christ, becoming one in Christ. That is the situation where we are now, where you hear from God, where you have personal encounters with God. Not the one that your pastors will preach for you, but the one you relate with God by yourself. Man coming into a state of Christ. Noah is the mystery of the man who received the revelation of Christ, the reality of the true gospel of Christ. Whoever that believes in this revelation and knowledge of God, you are saved. You have come into that ark. That ark that we are hearing is Christ. And you say it will rain upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. That the revelation of Christ, that 40 days and 40 nights, is the transition of a man. The transition of a man into a place of peace, into a place of rest, into the revelation of God, into the revelation of who his son Jesus Christ is. That is the mystery of 40 days of 40 nights in which the rain came to end. The rain came to end, to end flesh, to end the lost inside of a man. For man to become a new living, for man to become a living soul, for man to become a new life, for man to become living. Because men are dead. Men are not living because your soul is dead. Once your soul is dead, you are no more alive. You are not living. You might be, you are like a walking corpse, walking around the earth, but your soul is dead. So Jesus has come by his revelation that man will become a living soul. That the soul of a man become one in Christ. One body, Christ. One fellowship. One spirit. One faith in Christ. Father, King of God, ancient of days, may your word be exemplified in the life of your people. Just like you exemplified the mystery of your revelation in the life of your children, Noah and Moses, as many as they are, in which the revelation of Christ were revealed to Lord, you are the same God, you change it not. Lord, may your revelation, may the 40 days and the 40 nights of your people upon this planet earth, let it come. Let every man in this earth enter 
pour into their days of 40 days and 40 nights. Let it flow that your revelation will be revealed to men. That men will be saved out of captivity. That men will be renewed. They will have a new life. The renewal of the mind. That the mind of men will be renewed. That lust will disappear out of the planet earth. For it pleases you that every man which you have created upon the planet earth are saved. Lord, let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. That your will be done on earth. Even as is in heaven. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, ancient of days. For in Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Amen.